Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a Spring Boot REST API that returns Java Bean as a JSON to the client. Well, let's go to IntelliJ IDEA. In previous lecture, we have created a simple Spring Boot Hello World REST API and this REST API returns the Hello World string to the client. Well, in real-time projects, we create the REST APIs that returns a JSON to the client, right? So in this lecture, we will see how to create a simple Spring Boot REST API that returns a Java Bean as a JSON to the client. Well, it's pretty simple. Just follow the steps that I'm going to implement in this lecture. So first step is we need to create a Java Bean. So go to main package and let's quickly create a new package and let's call it as Bean. And within a Bean package, let's create a java class let's call it as student and let's go and let's define instance variables for this student class so let's have a private string student first name and then private string student last name and also let's add a id to this student class so let's say private int id so this is a student id this is a first name this is a last name all right perfect next let's go ahead and let's create a parameterized constructor for this student class well in order to create a constructor right click on this class generate and then constructor and select all the fields and then click on ok now we have created a parameterized constructor for this student class next let's go ahead and let's also create a getter setter methods for these instance variables so in order to create a getter setter methods right click on the class generate and choose getter and setter and select all the fields and click on OK. Now we have created getter setter methods for these instance variables. All right, perfect. Now we have created student as a Java bean. And whenever we develop the REST API, we use this student Java bean as a response. And then Spring MUC will convert this Java bean, you know, Java object into a JSON and it will send that JSON back to the client. So this is the first step that is we have created a student Java bean. Second step is we need to create a Spring MUC controller. We'll go to controller package right click on it new and then choose java class and let's give controller name as student controller and let's go and let's annotate this class with at rest controller annotation to make this class as a spring muc rest controller this is the second step that is we have created student controller class third step is we need to create the spring boot rest api that returns java bean as a json to the client well, creating a REST API using Spring Boot is very simple. We just have to create a Java method and we need to annotate that Java method with the Spring annotations. All right. So here within a student controller, let's create a Java method first. Let's type public and let's give return type of the method as student and let's give method name as get student. And then let's create a student object over here, student student equal to new student and let's pass a value to the constructor id as a one and then name as first name as let's say Ramesh and then last name let's say Padatari. perfect now we have created student object next let's return this student object perfect now we have created a simple java method it returns a student object next let's go ahead and let's make this java method as a rest api using spring annotation well this method is going to be handle http get request hence we are going to use at get mapping annotation over here we use at get mapping annotation to map incoming http get request with this method next let's go ahead and let's configure the url for this rest api so here we just need to pass the url for example let's say student well, whenever a client want to call this REST API, then client have to use this URL. For example, HTTP localhost colon 8080 followed by the URI that is student. All right. So whenever client want to call this REST API, then client have to use this URL. Next, let's go ahead and let's run the Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API. So let me start the Spring Boot application. Well, notice here was Spring Boot application is up and running in embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Well, let me copy this URL to access this REST API and we can use a browser to make HTTP GET request. So in a new tab, just paste this URL and hit enter and there we go. 
the client got a response in a JSON format. Alright, so this is how we develop the Spring Boot REST API that returns Java Bean as a JSON to the client. Alright, perfect. Now let me recap what we have done in this lecture. First, we have created student Java Bean. Next, we have created student controller. And within a student controller, we have created a REST API that returns a student object as a JSON to the client. Oh, that's pretty simple, isn't it? In next lecture, we'll see how to create a Spring Boot REST API that returns a list as a JSON to the client. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.